protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Their Royal Highness, indeed. The Sun published a secret 1933 film showing Queen Elizabeth being taught the Nazi salute by her treasonous uncle Edward VIII, the Prince of Wales. He would later be known as King Edward VIII and Emperor of India, but would be quietly removed from the throne less than 12 months later as he remained pro-Nazi even after the war accelerated. His scandalous marriage to a doubly divorced American woman would be his downfall, as the history books would have you believe. However, the once and future king was pigeonholed to the Bahamas as its governor because his Nazi sympathies became widely known during World War II. Two years before his death, Edward told an interviewer that he never thought Hitler was such a bad chap. An MI5 report featuring a British admiral who had attended Hitler's 1937 Nuremberg rally said that Hitler would soon invade, but there was no reason to worry about it because he would bring the Duke of Windsor, formerly King Edward, over as king. So how far back has the German parasite sat on the English throne? The lineage is long but begins with the Act of Settlement of 1701 when the Parliament of England granted the English throne to Protestant heir Sophia of Hanover. A German lineage of King George's soon followed, as did the American War for Independence. In 1840, Queen Victoria married her first cousin, Prince Albert, the son of the Duke of the Saxe-Coburg-Gotha House in Germany. Up until the First World War, the Saxe-Coburg-Gotha and another German aristocratic name, Wetton, were used. Those names were replaced with Windsor, essentially a cover for a hard line of German aristocrats occupying the British throne. Queen Elizabeth married Prince Philip. Prince Philip is from the German house of Glücksburg. Two of Prince Philip's brothers-in-law fought for the Nazis, and many of his relatives were linked with the Nazi party. In a frank interview, he said they found Hitler's attempts to restore Germany's power and prestige attractive, and admitted they had inhibitions about the Jews. From Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip Sprang, a man so obsessed with his ancestral ties to the bloodthirsty monster, Vlad the Impaler, that he has bought up so much property in Romania, he now owns an entire village. The genealogy shows that I'm descended from Vlad the Impaler, you see. So I do have a bit of a stake in the country. And Prince Andrew, who was accused of child sex charges after now allegedly being part of Jeffrey Epstein's case of pedophilia. And Prince Edward, whose wife Sophie was embroiled in a scandal involving sex tours, drugs, and gay prostitution after she was recorded by a reporter posing as a sheik. And have they stopped? No, they've increased. The royal coverage of the royal carriage. Almost every time I see seeing it's the Queen of England, Gracious Leader. Oh, we love you. They'll have that British reporter on going, they're probably having pea soup and something proper meal. And again, I'm not an Anglophobe, ladies and gentlemen. I love England. Love a lot of the culture. It, it, it's amazing. Led with the Magna Carta and the, and the real Renaissance worldwide. So much has come out of the British Isles. But not the globalist and the Transylvanian royal family perched like giant stinking vultures on the carcass of the UK. So, when German Prince Harry dons a Nazi insignia at a private party, and sheepishly apologizes to the adoring brainwashed public, and films are revealed of Queen Elizabeth giving the Heil Hitler salute. Real Britons know full well they are under occupation. John Baum for Infowars.com. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. 
We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America, high quality products, and promote the ideals of liberty.